guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you an easy splatter nail design that requires almost no specific nail art tools and no advanced skill level to do. All you're going to need to do this design is a few nail polishes, a regular drinking straw, a peel off barrier or masking tape to help with clean up after you're done and a quick dry top coat to help it all dry faster. You're also going to need a disposable plastic or paper surface to work on that's going to protect your workspace from any polish splatter. For my splatter design I'm going to be using a base of OPI Alpine Snow and then four of the new Hello Kitty by OPI polishes. I'm going to be using Kitty White, Small plus Cute equals Heart, Spoken from the Heart and Never Have Too Many Friends. Paint your base polish on and then let it dry. Now since we're going to be covering it with a heap of splattered polish it really doesn't need to be opaque and it doesn't need to be perfect. Just cover the nail with one coat. Apply the peel off barrier to your fingers and let it dry or if you're using tape, apply that. I'm using Liquid Palisade by Kiesk but you can use whichever one that you have or I have a tutorial here on how to make your own. Take the first polish that you're going to work with and put one drop of polish onto some plastic or into a dish. Taking the straw, dip one end of it into the polish and then while the polish is still covering the end of the straw in a thin barrier, move it over the nail and blow quickly and sharply through the straw and onto the nail. You need to move really quickly in this part. If the polish doesn't spray off the straw and onto the nail, it's because the polish barrier separated to the edges of the straw or you didn't blow hard enough to move the polish. Repeat this process with all the polishes that you've chosen to use. Remove the barrier or the tape and then with a small angled brush clean any polish off your cuticles and fingers that may be left. Keeping in mind that this is a very messy design. Apply a top coat to seal and smooth the design down and I'm using a quick dry top coat to help dry the polish faster. And that's it, the end result is an edgy look that's really simple to do but looks really complicated. I hope you guys liked this tutorial and if you did then please give it a thumbs up down below and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.